guys, it's Sandy and my dogs back behind me. You can see Vienna in the window back there. Hopefully she won't start barking in a second. I wanted to come on camera and just say a big thank you to everybody who has been praying for me this week. I posted in our Facebook group that I had an injury to my hand that was really painful and really scary. And it seems to have been mostly, if not entirely healed. I am just so excited. The Lord is so good because this is my dominant hand, my art hand, and I don't know what I would do without it. What had happened was Sunday evening, I was just doing normal things. And slowly, little by little, my hand was really tired, really exhausted. And then it just got to the point where I couldn't move it. I couldn't pick anything up. I couldn't hold a can of cat food to feed my cat. I couldn't do anything with it. Monday, all day, the same thing. And I was in a bit of a panic because I have a couple friends who have had a repetitive stress injury that totally took them out for months. And that's not something that I can do. I just can't do that. So I was just praying. All of you were praying. Thank you for that. The Lord is good because as you can see, I've got movement again. Isn't that nice to see? I have no swelling. Things are relatively normal. I've got um, almost full motion back, but I'm still not creating because, yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to mess with it while it's still healing. There is some tiredness still left, so I'm going to just make it sit there and do nothing and just do my physical therapy exercises as instructed and call it good. But today I thought I would take up an idea that was shared in the Bible journaling group about perhaps flipping through one of my Bibles and talking about a couple pages in there. So I'm not going to flip through the whole thing. This is my main Bible that I do lots of my journaling in, my personal journaling. And so I'm going to flip through some of those pages, not all of it because it's a huge Bible. And yeah, we'll just see what the Lord leads me to talk about. All right. Let's get started. This one is my journal, the Word Bible, and it's one that has this strap around it and then the little flap, which I really like because it keeps everything protected, but it doesn't lay down very flat. So I just have a clip that I put on it and that weights it down enough while I'm working in it. So we will start out here. Tell this right hand to just sit and rest. Do nothing to make itself worse. And we'll start here in Genesis. God saw that it was good. It's a very easy page to make, just a half circle or a portion of a circle that you can make with a giant plate, just any kind of large round object, and make some blobs. They don't even have to look like actual like land masses, they can look like anything. As long as they're blue and green, you get the idea of that's what it is. And I made a yellow glow around it, but you could just go right into having a blue sky and then draw some stars in. Very easy page to make. This one is from one of my former pastor's sermons that impacted me more than many that I have ever heard when he talked about putting the apple back on the tree. Our recognition of sin is that God is the one who decides what sin is, and we decided <laughs> at the moment of sin that we were going to be God. We were going to decide right from wrong, and the whole act of repentance is the act of putting the apple back on the tree so that God is God and we are not <laughs> admitting that. And this one was from Ash Wednesday a few years ago. This is a video here on YouTube. It's a tip in page that I made and it's about waiting. And this was last year because the journaling here says, Lord, it's been hard to stay home, but I'll do so until it is safe. Please grace me with patience in this season. And I did not know a year later I was going to still need patience. I still await my vaccine. I cannot wait. So this is the rainbow of promise, turning the rainbow into Cupid's arrow. So sending love to the earth with God's promise. This one is 
Again, tear down my tower, another one from here on YouTube. And I'll try to put all these videos as links in the description down below if you've missed some of them. God keeps both sides of his covenant. He went to the grave to give us the skies. He experienced the darkness to bring us into the light. So he, he keeps all sides of things, and it doesn't really matter what we do other than accept that he's made that sacrifice for us. Next up is the promises. I saw rooms in you that he is building, gifts that will burst in a new way. And this has a floor plan inside the heart. So that one. Still moving along through Genesis. Dreaming God-sized dreams. It's kind of an ode to Jimmy Stewart, where he says to his, uh, his girl Mary, that he will lasso the moon. And here we can dream God-sized dreams. We can lasso the moon with God when he has called us to something. We can do anything. I probably paint more lions in my Bible than any other single image. I just love putting lions in there. So there are plenty of them throughout my, my whole Bible here. Moving into Exodus. Did not realize how hard even a flip through is with only one hand. And this one, this page was about trust. And do I trust God even when his instructions seem nuts? And these people during the Passover must have thought that God sounded nuts when he said to put blood on the, the top and sides of the door and then eat food this way and, you know, go out by dead of night. I mean, just all the things that he said, they must have thought he was crazy, but they listened. And do I listen when even his instructions sound completely crazy? So next we get over here. Uh, this one with the ribbons through the word truth is here on YouTube. Yeah, and this is a very old pomegranate and bells picture that I painted. And I told myself at the time I was going to go buy a pomegranate. I've never had a pomegranate in my hand to even know really what they are. This was painted from an internet picture, so I still have not done that. This buying a pomegranate is my bucket list. Here's one that reminds me <laughs> that God gives me rest, and I was thinking about sitting on the beach doing my Bible study in Puerto Rico, and I am still not able to go to Puerto Rico for my yearly trip. I'm very sad. Maybe soon. I don't know. I cannot wait. So let me get through Leviticus here. There's not a whole lot in this book. I'll let my hand help me just sort pages. So this one, God sends rains. And one of the things that was fun about this that you might take as an idea is just to draw some stitching inside the edges of any of the images that you draw. Really simple shapes can turn into something that looks quilted on a Bible journaling page. And then this is one of the rare ones when I actually wrote out the scripture. Usually I just write out whatever the Lord is saying to me because the scripture is right there. But the Lord make his face shine in you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. This was one of the very first pages I made here on YouTube with the tassels. And life with God is best lived at the fringes. When we're at the, the bare edge of understanding what he wants and what he's asking us to do, that's the moment when we're called to the greatest trust. And that's the moment when he does his best work because he's doing it, not us. That is a lesson I learn often in my life. Not a lot in numbers. I should probably do a study in numbers just to start filling in some of those pages. Deuteronomy, I've been appointed like a star. And this is a page here on YouTube for an easy galaxy background. This one was in my book, Do What is Right and Good in the Lord's Sight. And this one, Send Your Rain, Drench My Soul. 
This was in watercolor pencil. I just made a bunch of streaks of color and took a baby wipe and, and just smoothed them out and ran them over with the baby wipe. And then I took some white pen and white pencil and made drops by just making these shapes that were thicker at the bottom and whoosh, going upwards so that I'd have something that looked like rain. So it was either, either white pencil or a white pen. Might be a white gel pen in there too. The safest place to be is in the will and the word of God. Stay out of the danger zone. When God tells you not to leave, you stay. My little shark. I think he's on YouTube as well. Obey and be blessed with just a little simple sheep. Not sure how obedient little lambs are, but I was assuming so when... I did that one. And this page was done in watercolor and I made the rain. Thank you. Thank you. By putting a bunch of different colors of rainbow watercolor on the page and then using a baby wipe to just smush over them to make this pattern and then drew the, the grasses and things on here. And that gave me a background for the other page. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord, your God, goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And this may have been part of either a lettering challenge or my lettering class. I don't remember. And I do have Bible journaling classes, by the way, over on my website. If you're interested in you know, some longer, more in-depth kind of things than just random YouTube videos. In Joshua, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And I have my dogs and I dancing in the window because we do that a lot around here. A lot of people have done an RV for Ruth. So I was looking for a way to do an RV, but in my way. Instead of just copying other people, I try to adapt it to my style so this was done in colored pencil and I added a wagon behind it and just used part of the RV. And then the wagon has all my art supplies because wherever I go, my art supplies go too. So anybody wants me to follow them gets the art supplies as well. This one is also from the book. Jesus is the rock and he rolls my blues away. Bop, doo wop, bop, doo wop. That was a song we did in prison ministry many years ago. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. So there's a lot of times if you have insomnia like I do, just draw a window in your piece and, and the moon and then just journal what you're thinking about or worrying about and let the Lord have it. And sometimes just putting it in my Bible is enough to, I don't know, to make me stop worrying about it because now it's on paper, it's in my Bible, I know God's got it. He's got it under control. And then I think we'll end with this one. This is me plus God equals victory with the big dead giant. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining me for this. Thank you for the idea to just do a flip through and save my hand and give it more rest. And I will see you again next week, maybe with some artwork, maybe not. I don't really know. We will see what the Lord does. So continue to pray for this hand. God, I give you both of these hands to do your will. And I pray that all of us who do Bible journaling will use our hands for your kingdom, that will create art that glorifies you, that increases our relationship with you, you our relationship with your word, and encourages others by the work that we do. In Jesus' name, amen. See you guys later.